damage. The, the, the punishing side to not making to making this one less damage is if he has Searing Blades. I think I'm okay just gaining a life with this. Especially because we're getting kind of low here. If he has Searing Blades and like Blaze plus another removal spell to kill the Scavenging Ooze, that would be really bad for us. So hopefully this just like encourages him to like bolt the Scavenging Ooze. Poor Mr. Charm. Uh, sure, man. So we're going to five and then we're going to two here. That's gross. I guess I should have run the block. It's unfortunate. Declan, it's okay, bud. Here, have your bank. We got some choices here. I think we actually just want to go bird voice here and hope to fade. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. I should have blocked with the spell sky last turn. Yeah, looking back on it, that was definitely wrong. And I tapped my lands wrong here. I should have uh, used the firelit thicket to make double green to go this so I could leave the scavenging use activation up. But we're probably just dead. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't untap and kill us. Uh, the upside here to playing out these two guys too, in addition to uh, not just playing Restoration Angel, is the fact that uh, if he draws and plays Eidolon, we can cast these Restoration Angels and not die to the Eidolon. If we don't die this turn, we've got, you know, alright, we're dead. So if I would have blocked with Spellskite last turn, we'd have been three higher from this block, and then uh, we would have been one higher from the Scavenging News activation, so we'd have gone to three this turn. So we'd have been in a better spot. We get to be on the play for this last game, hopefully uh, see some of our lightning helixes. I don't think we board. Yeah, we're not going to board any differently here. Oh, man, Ken, you have fans? Look at you. You're like, you're like a real magic personality. Isn't it fun? Thank you, Liquid Blue, for the new follower. The black-white deck doesn't have a lot of finishers, to be fair. Pretty awesome bow tie. All right, so hopefully our opponent mulligans to six and we draw lightning helix this game. Maybe even just like all the lightning helixes. That would be sweet. He, he sent me the Knight of the Reliquary deck for modern too. It, it, I would really like to cast Stubborn Denial in modern. Man, this hand just has all the magic cards I love, but just doesn't do anything. So we'll mulligan. Um, this hand's not great, but it's probably a keep. Yeah. He looks on top, snap it off. All right, so we're gonna play, we can't fetch on one, which is unfortunate because we want to draw that helix. Are we going basic mountain, basic plains? Yeah, that's probably it. These are probably getting basic mountain, basic plains, basic forest, which is awkward. I don't know, depending on what he does here, we might just like fetch stomping ground, fetch basic planes. That's probably better. So we can, oh man, he didn't do anything on turn one. That's beautiful. All right, so I think, I think the line here is play this foothills and pass. Hey, Trey Gamer, thanks for the resub. I appreciate that. I know I haven't been streaming a lot lately. I'm gonna hopefully correct that. Get doing at least one to two more, one to two days a week. So the question here is, do I want to fetch shock and then play the voice this turn? I think I do because that allows us, we want to be able to witness back this helix. So that'll put us to 16 and then 15. So yeah, I think we're just going to do that. This is going to get stomping ground. This is going to get basic planes. There might also be merit to just waiting, but I feel like his hand probably involves an Eidolon, so like, if we get this voice down, 
We can then Helix the Eidolon, fetch Tap Land on our next turn. All right, so he just doesn't have a turn one play, which is sweet. So Helix plus Snapcaster for Helix plus probably Cord Resto Snapcaster for Helix. No fetch. Interesting. Thanks, Kesa. Thanks for hanging out. Love me some modern. It was nice to capitalize on my experience in the format and my love of this deck. This deck's a blast. It's hard to stream when I'm busy traveling. You don't always win when you're traveling, but I've been traveling a lot. Just the path. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yep. Take that. Uh, guess we'll get basic forest for now. I think we're playing that and shipping it back. I don't want to just witness. Like, I if you've watched me play this deck before, you'll know I witness fetch lands pretty aggressively. But I don't think I want to do that when I have a helix in my hand in this matchup. Uh, there is a space heater that's running uh, underneath where my computer is, so. Earth Bolt suspended. Maybe, maybe I was just supposed to fire off the helix there. That could have been right. So I don't have any black creatures in my deck. I think I just want to get a sacred foundry here. Yeah, let's just get a sacred foundry. path. Might just be me, but I can barely hear you. Um, I had a couple people said that the audio was fine, so I'm inclined to believe the few people already said the audio was okay. Uh, Alright, so if he just doesn't do anything and, like, passes back to us again here, I think I'm gonna fetch Forest and, like, court for a two-drop. You're right, back now. I have been going to work. Punch in the clock. All right, so he's just passing in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna cord for a two drop. And maybe, maybe we just get like voice of resurgence here. I think I like that. There's definitely a baby in the background. That's that's a thing that exists. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get voice so that way he just can't cast spells on my turn. Um. I mean, she's very close to a scene. Alright, so I played this. If I don't attack, I can cord for two, but I think I'd rather just attack and leave Helix up. Yeah, so let's do that. So now he just has to, like, pass back to his turn and has an entire wasted cycle here. And we've got pressure on the table now. And if he tries to do anything on our turn, we get a voice token and we just get to Helix him to gain three life. Uh, my wife made me buy Powerball tickets. I don't normally believe in the lottery, but, uh, you know, she said something about it's part of history and all that jazz, so. Oh, come on. Come on, cast a spell. Ah, oh, he didn't want to cast the spell. So Horizon Canopy here, not, not the greatest. I guess it cycles at least, so we got that going for us. So we found another land, so that's probably good for him. So let's see here. So we've got Searing Blaze and my Eternal Witness. That's unfortunate. So I'm going to eight here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm helixing his dome here. And then we can cord for witness. Oh, oh, geez. This is great. You know what we can do? I'm not used to having this card in my deck. Let's cord, cord for forge tender. That sounds wonderful.
<laughs> That's right. You can see my wife's artwork in the background, can't you? She's been doing these drink wine. Uh, Helix Ewit, Helixing your own guy. Searing Blaze targets the player too. Searing Blaze targets the player too, so if you kill your own creature, you still take three damage. Otherwise, I'd have just pathed my witness, not not close, but we have Forge Tender in our deck, so let's use our cord to counter target Searing Blaze. Choose a source. I choose you, Pikachu. Alright, hold on one second. Declan would like to get out of his cage. I'm gonna let him crawl around for a minute. I'll uh, play. I thought he was ready for bed, but he's not. Would you like out of your cage? Oh, did you poop? I might have to change a diaper here after this match. Oh, we might have some poops. The joys of parenthood. Yeah, Fortune there was great. Just like everything we wanted our magic card to be doing. And now we can uh, helix him and we keep the pressure up and this is, that's great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's why people think of that like that. Like, Searing Blaze is worded differently. It's also why uh, if you have Leyland of Sanctity out, Searing Blaze can't target you. Uh, this is game three. Grim Lava Man, sure. Actually, that's, that's perfect for us. So we get to go... Uh, I'm going to start by drawing a card here, I think. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> ha! Got him! So let's go... Uh, Helix, you... I think we're gonna go Path, the Lava Man, hit him for four. Hey, I think I'm gonna save this extra Helix here as Reach. So let's Path this idiot. Crack him for four, and then he's technically... He's technically dead on board, but he doesn't know that because we've got a helix in our hand, so. Sweet. Look, man, this is why we put the helixes in the sideboard, so we can get them with it. So I play the horizon canopy so we can cycle it. People always ask me if the horizon canopy is optional, and you can play the deck without the horizon canopy. I know it's expensive, but it's worth playing the horizon canopy. In fact, if we could support the pain of drawing two of them on occasion, I would play a second one. It's really good. But I don't, I don't think we can afford to play two, unfortunately. Five bolts, one time. He, we could. He could just, like, play this. He could. We gave him the fifth land. He could just go, like, spike, spike, bolt, 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 and we're just dead. Just, like, stone dead because I was greedy and didn't play the helix here. I don't even know if it's greedy. I think it's just correct to do what I did. But, you know, sometimes they got the five bolts. They got the five bolts. <laughs> yeah. Can't you probably stop? I should probably stop being so loud. My wife just went upstairs to go to bed, and her bedroom is above the family room where I am currently playing magical cards on the computer. Sure, man. My voice is gone. We've got a mountain. Eh, that's not what we want to see. So we're not... We're not going to play this Heath out because if we draw Courser, we want to use it to gain a life. And I'm not just helixing him willy-nilly at any point here because hopefully we're just going to like kill him from three here. His upkeep, we are going to go ahead and try, and try to kill him before we give him a chance to draw his own helixes and such. Oh, bad luck, Brian. Got him. He should have waited. I was going to go for it on his upkeep regardless, but he got excited and he pulled the trigger and then we helixed him back. And dead all right so sweet i'm gonna run a quick commercial on twitch while i 
clean some crap out of a diaper. So 